Hey everybody, uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a while, I've just been extremely busy and I had go around number two with the flu that kicked my butt for about four days. I thought I was going to have to go to the, the hospital, but um, then just been, just been working a lot. Um, I got a package in, um, well actually I got two packages in, hold on, let me... One of my my Canadian friend, he sent me a package, and um, he sent me some coffee, Starbucks coffee. Uh, the wife already grabbed a couple of packages, and he sent me this killer book, and um, he says it's a good book, and uh, I've skimmed through it. And I'm gonna. I plan on reading and it, reading it. Um, thank you so much, Daniel. I I really um, I appreciate it. And um, I thank you a lot. Um, next, I want to talk about uh, 2018. I'm going to focus on my prepping. On getting food, let it be through trapping and fishing. I am not going to, you know, I've got my bows, I've got my guns, you know, for hunting. But in a SHTF situation, I'm not going to be out there hunting because I don't want to bring attention to myself. So I am going to focus on trapping and snaring. With that being said, I'm gonna start ordering. I ordered some. I got, I got six um, Duke 110. You know, they came in. I caught these on sale. They're usually like twenty two or twenty three dollars, but I got six of them for sixteen thirty five. And um, I should have ordered more, but the sale's off now, so I have to start paying regular prices. But I got six of those. Let me throw just some of them up here and empty out the box here. I ain't going to empty out the whole thing. But um, also, every time I order, I'm going to get me one of these. It's a safety. When, you, when you're when you setting, you put these onto your trap. And that way, you set them into place and they don't bite you. So, um, these are good for, for um, 110s to 330s. So, um, I'm definitely going to order me this. And I'm um, also, because um, I got some brackets here. I've watched Sam Wood outdoors, and he puts these, he'll screw these down into a patio block, and he'll set them in the water for muskrat and mink. That's what I'm going to do. But also, you can also secure these to tree branches. You know, fallen trees on 45s, nail them down, and that way you can um, set 120s, 160s, 110s for, for you know, everything and anything. Um, it just depends on where you're you're at. You know, you can set them for Martin. You can set them for Fisher. You can set them for um, possums, raccoons, um, porcupines. You know. Anything that climbs trees, you can put these in here. And they they were pretty cheap, too. I got a dozen for like seven bucks. So I'm going to be ordering some more of these. But I am definitely going to focus more on trapping. I've got an order up now. It's like 200 and something dollars. My wife just kind of looked at me like, wow. <laughs> but um, I'm going to try to order traps and snares every other week. And... Um, you know, I, I want a lot. I mean, I want, I want at least, you know, 3110s, 3160s, 3155s, 3220s, 3230s, 3240s, 3240s, um, you know, I'm going to get a few 280s, 120s, I want at least 3120s. Um, I am going to get some coil springs and some dog-proof traps. But those in a SHTF situation, those are going to be iffy. 
I'll do another video on those, but um, explaining why those are going to be kind of iffy. But um, but I guess that's my New Year's resolution or whatever to get prepared. I am going to focus more on trapping, snaring, uh, because all I got to do is set these, walk away, come back the next day, and check them. I'm going to let them do the work for me. They're quiet. I don't have to worry about, you know, firing any type of weapon. These are quick kill traps. And um, I can camouflage them. You know, I can make boxes. I can set them in the water, you know, out of sight, out of mind. People won't be looking. Um, because people is going to mainly be looking for people out hunting. They're going to listen for the noise. They're going to watch for movement. You know, only thing I'm going to have to do is just be quiet and hopefully nobody sees me walking around. But um, I would suggest for people, if you don't have any traps, get you some traps because they will do the work for you. You don't have to be out there as as long and put yourself out, you know, firing weapons, bringing noise. You know, you don't have to worry about this. You just walk up, check your traps. If there's something in there, take them out, throw them in your pack, reset it, and go. Less than a minute, you're not you're 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 out of the area. Um, but I would suggest this is just what I'm doing for 2018. You know, I've got. I've got, you know, some traps. I don't got as much as I want or I'm going to have. By year's end, I, I'm going to have a lot of traps. And um, and I plan on next year, next season, um, doing a lot of, of trapping because we're having a cold winter. The fur will be good, you know, Last year, the first sucked. It was low quality. I didn't even set my trap lines out this year because of it. Um, I saw a lot of the foxes and a lot of the coyotes. They were scrunchy. They had, the foxes especially had mange, a lot of mange this year. So I didn't even set my trap line up this year. Um, but, you know, it's a good alternative. You know, you can get meat. You can get fur to use. You can get fur to trade. You can get fur to sell. Um, you know, it's a win-win situation, but, um, that's my new year's resolution, I guess, is in my preparedness is for traps and snares. That way I can get more meat. You know, I have a way to get food and it, it won't be, um, as noisy, but, um, you know, I, I, this is for the trapping. I'm going to do one on fishing. But again, my Canadian friend, thank you so much for the book. I am definitely going to um, to read it. And Tanya, thanks you for the coffee because she loves Starbucks coffee. I'm going to get off here, guys. Everybody be safe and hope everybody have a great year. Bye for now.